Hey guys, back by popular demand. You guys absolutely smashed that last video. 10,000 likes, who would have thought? Um, so as you can see, we have Studio Ghibli characters giving us good vibes today. And you know, the hottest set right now, you guys already know what it is. Boom, Mythical Keldeo Collection the generation set, which I think everyone forgot about. And we'll also be opening a Hidden Fates Charizard tin because we got a couple of these just chilling. We'll start off with the Keldeo generations. So these, these boxes are kind of weird. They're not weird, but like nowadays when they do like pin collections like this, I feel like they, they give you at least three booster boxes or booster packs. These ones only come with two, which is kind of a you know, bummer. And the promo is kind of weird. It's like the, the kind of full art promos they, they give. Oh, but you get this 20 years of Pokemon thing. Yep. I still need to get a Charizard one, but those are like super hard to get and a Pikachu one. And I know a guy that has a Pikachu one, so I'll have to decide if I actually want one of those. And they have all the fairies here and some other select Pokemon. I don't know how they chose those, but pretty cool, I guess. It's going in the trash. Um, we have the Keldeo promo, which, you know, it's kind of cool, I guess. Kind of has, kind of quirky. He's kind of quirky. He's like a, I think this was inspired by the My Little Pony. Um, craze they tried to get some bronies on the pokemon train code card for the box and let's look at this pin in true uh brony fashion very kawaii you can sell this to the kid that um wears a trench coat at school he'll probably give you a lot of money for it so let's look at the box arts we got let's get rid of this trash thank you Okay, so we have the fan. We got Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Green. Are those the original ones? No, it was red and blue. Blue. Who knows? But let's start with Venusaur because I don't like him. We're giving all of the positive vibes. We're channeling that into the Blastoise um, pack. Right off the bat, we got a banger. We got the weirdly drawn perspective ponyta. But um, I think, okay, this is X and Y, so it's three to the front. They, oh, okay. They don't have an energy, I don't believe. Ooh, we got the one of the two guaranteed pulls from the, what, what set do they call this? RC something, something collection, radiant collection. Someone's cute, I think we already have that one. Pokeball, Persian, Ponyta, Duke. damn boy, he's been drinking Nesquik. Energy, Doe Duo, having a good time. I like these hand-drawn ones. Mr. Mime doing slave labor, looks like. Jesus, come on, guys. Oh, I, I messed up the counting on that one. The other guaranteed uh, Radiant Collection card and... Ooh, Jinx and Mach Machamp. Looks like they're on some like runway thing. This is probably like the Pokemon world's like version of like a strip club. Mickey, good job. <laughs> okay, Ooh, oh, come on, do him justice in all this 3D rendering. I think these packs sell for like seven eight bucks a pack but well i mean it's one of those cool sets you know it's the 20th anniversary of pokemon so it'll probably it's probably one of those sets that is good to kind of invest in maybe i don't really know Ooh, we got a good one we got the charmander so I, yeah it would be really cool to get the full line of this one because the charizard card's pretty cool oh god <laughs> kids i I swear I didn't know this was gonna happen. I'm so sorry. Red card. Unlisted leaf energy. Hey guys, Uncle Ando here. Um, Geodude going Super Saiyan. 
We got, oh, that's a, pr that's a cute Pikachu. I like how that's drawn. That's kind of, you know, like a soft day out in the forest. Caterpie with some weird like bug fart around it. We have the reverse pincer, and I'm not gonna make the mistake I did last time. I know the next one's from the Radiant Collection. Ooh, we got a Frostlass. Ooh, look at that. She's like the E-Girls. You know those E-Girls, when they die, they become Frostlass. And what the heck, man? No one asked for this. Uh, we didn't get any good pulls, guys. Thanks a lot. The Charizard tin. Ooh, yes. Hidden Fates. Now, Hidden Fates is... It's kind of, the hype is kind of dying down, but like still, it's in a ridiculous place in terms of value for cards in this set. Like, you can go all the way back to almost, like maybe even Expedition series, and like the median card price of Hidden Fate still beats it out, which is absolutely insane, Um, I think. I think this is right around the time. Oh, that's, you know, that's not bad. It's aligned pretty well, but and this one's a, a, like an actual promo. It took me a while to realize this, but this card's different than the one that's in the set. You know. Ooh. Let's see how good of a job I did there. Not bad, pretty well aligned. No obvious streaking on the card. And the back looks quite pristine, but this card doesn't fetch you a lot unless you get like a PSA 10, which most of these cards, you, you have a really good chance of getting a PSA 10. The code card, my neighbor Toto Row in the background, messing everything up. And we got, I believe they in these tins, they, they just give you one of every, oh, never mind. I thought you got one of each art. We got the Miracle Twins here from Hidden Fates. I mean, from Unified Minds. So let's just let's just start it off with this Mew. Mew's a, Mew's a cool Pokemon. You know, some of the really rare Mew cards, I think Japan goes crazy over Mew for some reason. It's like one of their favorite Pokemon. I see something shiny here, so. That could just be a regular GX. And believe it or not, we have not pulled out of the regular set the only cards we haven't pulled. One, two. And Hidden Fates, they're just such good quality cards. You know, it's really, it's a really good investment. Pokemon did a really good job with Hidden Fates. Um, the only two cards we haven't pulled from the regular set of the Shiny Vault um, is regular rare Butterf Butterfree and Pinsir. You know, believe it or not, we've pulled like a ton of shiny Pokemon and there we go guys this one's new and a Mewtwo it's always nice to see that and you know these are both very well cut this is this was a nice card this Scyther let's see that is a good shot of a PSA 10 if I do say so myself I don't see any obvious you know markings on it so I'll give this to my lovely assistant. Thank you, lady. <laughs> Tip of the fedora. There we go. Ooh, he's channeling his inner Frieza. He's got, he's about to destroy all the Namekians. So we're still hunting for that, that elusive Butterfree, the regular rare Butterfree. That's an elusive card for us nowadays. One, two, three, four to the front. And we have the Psychic Energy. We have Sabrina Suggestion, Charmeleon, Misty's Thickness, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Clefairy. Ooh, so we don't get a shiny in this one, but we could still get the Pincer GX and, oh, I kind of messed up pulling that. It's always nice to get these cards though. They're very pretty. Two to go. And honestly, I think I've found that within Hidden Fates, not necessarily any product like the tin versus the Elite Trainer Box versus like the Pokeball Collection have better pull rates. But what I'm finding is the ones that you that were released earlier, not not necessarily like they, they were just on the an, an earlier print run, right? One, two, three, four. They had better odds, I feel, of pulling things. Um, I think something shiny's there. 
uh, leaf. Brock's Pewter City Gem Chansey with a Squirtle thing. Kind of weird. Graveler. Ooh. Geodude. Clefairy. Eevee. Ekans. Pear. Ooh, so no no shiny, but I think, I think, ooh. I, ooh, what's, the, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, we, we've got a couple of these. Not bad. Not bad, honestly. I mean, I think we're doing pretty good. So I think it's it's been a, a good minute since we pulled a full art uh, shiny, but you know, one, two, three, four. So we have the Steel Energy, Brock's Grit, Chansey, Graveler, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, this next one. Oh, got nothing. And we could still redeem ourselves with a Cynthia here. Oh, wow, that, okay, cool. They're gonna do me like that. Well, not too bad. Let's see what we pulled, shall we? Okay, well, for the Radiant Collection, this was kind of, actually, where's the other one in the Radiant Collection? Whatever, we got this this girl. Um, And you guys obviously have j just saw this one. I think we have about three of these so far. And if we're just looking at this card, I don't put my nasty finger oils right on the Zapdos in the center, but oh, what's that? Oh, nothing actually. That is a 10 if I've ever seen a 10. I know I'm saying that a lot, but honestly, Hidden Fates, they, they did a really good job, which is one thing about the set that probably is a downfall because it's kind of like the Japanese cards, like they do them so well that the value of a PSA 10 goes down substantially. But this one's nice, this Scyther. You know, pretty nice. There's a tiny bit of silvering on the upper left corner here. That's about it. This Keldeo, not much value there. Mewtwo, not much value there. Charizard, I think this could be a 10, so that would be good value. Um, this thing, Mobobber, and this. Um, so a little tip if you're trying to sell Pokemon cards, if you don't actually play them, play with them, just get yourself some card sleeves, okay? That's number one. Number two is wash your hands, kids. We don't want you coming from the bathroom, you know, without washing your hands. And then, you know, you can buy top loaders, they're pretty cheap, or you can buy the, if, like, PSA has specific kind of, um, I don't know, thingy sleeves they want you to put them in. Um, they have videos on them, so you know, I'm not the guy to go, you know, tell you how to do this, but have a good day. If you can't find any Hidden Fates stuff, they actually just released a ton of them on like Target and Best Buy, so go ahead and get that before they're sold out.